Planet X! Welcome to one of the first episodes of our expeditions and I'm very happy to show you the first creation made by Moto King. We are today in Quadalest, it's a, a park in the mountains of Spain and oh, I cannot wait, like the sun is shining, I want to have a cocktail, maybe some tapas and I'm, oof, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Oh, my car is like parked here. He did it for me, which is super cute. And he even gave us a Planet X bus line, which is amazing. And I think there's someone coming out today because I'm not here alone. I'm here to today with me, Spike Bob Jumper. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look how cute. Look how cool this is with all the mountains and the sun shining. I cannot wait. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and what's already jumped out to me is the realism of this creation. I mean, we've of course got the uh, the car park with the road coming in. Yeah. But also the smaller details, like the map board here. Yeah, I'm he made it really by himself. By. That's really cool. Yeah. What can we discover? I always appreciate, like, the added details that people do. Like oh, sort of yes, yes. It's so cool that people, like, actually put effort in these things. Um, I, I need to be, like like confess something i'm very like too lazy to do it but i want to do it and i don't know <laughs> for some reason i just forget <laughs> but um the, the first thing we are going to is the main plaza and the mediterranean food restaurant which is here yeah let's check it out we need to walk the stairs Ooh. oh you already hear the music playing Oh, the coaster coming over the entrance there. That's a really nice detail. Yeah, that's really cool. Quite a less theme park. Oh, that looks so minimalistic and it's so clean and nice. And the woodwork yeah. and this is cool. Little lanterns. Also, Malto's taken note of the... Uh... Uh, the audio as well with the music coming in. A lot of people forget about the park speakers and everything. Oh, it adds so much ambience to the park and the feeling yeah. of it and oh, it just fits so good. Mm. I think yeah, combining uh, that ambience with like the Mediterranean architecture and oh, everything is yes. really selling yes. the Spanish theme. He's um I think he's uh, from uh from Spain, so uh, he could take a lot of inspiration from maybe his neighborhood of one of the places he'd been to, and uh, I think he actually gave himself a house, <laughs> <laughs> which is super cute. <laughs> I like all the little details with the flowers and uh, oh, look, look at that! Ooh, yeah, that's a really nice. It's really photogenic. Yeah, oh, excited to be to see what's uh, what's up there. Let's see. Mm. You know what I like this about this? Because yeah, go for it. all the all the little houses actually look look the same, but they're slightly different and with the, the height difference it just makes a beautiful alley to look up to. It's really cool. Yeah, definitely. Like each of the building is so small and compact that it like it packs in so much detail, which is really nice for you know, just the general theme of the, uh, of the park. Yeah. Oh, that waterfall there. Yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. Hello there. That's a really nice looking layout. I like how he did that with the, with the tower. Breaks it up a little um, bit. Oh. Nice yeah. path interaction as well. Yes! Oh, I, also, I like that so much when people do that. and uh, Like uh, the, the whole coaster is interacting with the, with the surroundings. That's really cool. Yeah. This is more of a castle area, I think. I remember going to, to Spain, I think uh, there's a lot of castles around in the mountains. And they uh, they keep these as ruins, and uh, it's nice that he had that. Mm, there's also a really nice plaza down there. Yeah. 
Okay. With the lanterns over the heads and everything. The tables and chairs, yeah. Yep. He gave uh, back the little detail from the entrance back to here. That's nice. Chew us. I really like the fact that, you know, there's some... Um, it's definitely a theme park, but it, it feels like a seamless merge of just a traditional Spanish town, but then with theme park elements added to it. Oh, yeah. Like, the two themes don't conflict at all, and it's really, really nicely blended together. It also seems a bit like a fair, with a very big um, poster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it just gives that like whole sunny beach vibe. Can we, can we look over this? No. Let's go to the top. Some more. I wasn't roots. expecting this path to go so high. No, me neither. How high it's gone. Oh wow, look at that. You actually see where they are going to have that like the highest point of the coaster. Where he's gonna do like a little turn and then do the drop. Standing on the edge. Kids, don't do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> all of that forest in the background as well. Like, all of the rolling hills and everything. Yeah, he he definitely, like, chose the right map for this. And he interacted uh, the whole surroundings and the biome perfectly. For sure. Really nice. And the thing I was, like, very, like, shocked about is that the whole park is only... I think it was 8k pieces, so it's not even that much, but he he really, like, did something with it. He really put, like, yeah. the, the uh, pieces he used are very efficient. Because mm. it hasn't sacrificed detail, yeah. which is really impressive. And a work of, like, small Team TK items, as uh, these neon uh, signs for the map. Oh, I want to ride this coaster, so I think uh, we, we need to go downstairs again. I think what could have worked really well up here is, um, what's the, the like, the ski lift ride. That could have been a really good thing. <gasps> yes! Going because, up the, uh... Oh, yes. I remember, like, going to, to, to Spain that there are, like, a couple of these, uh... Uh, ski lifts or like uh, how do you call them in English? Ski like, lifts, I don't know. But <laughs> you have also these like little cabins you're like close into. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the sunlight. This is really oh, nice. Wow. Oh, so cute. Oh, this is what I meant with the, the fair, like the summer mm. festival feeling. It's really nice. It really makes me wish there was some sort of like parade system in the game because that would just be perfect for this park, oh, having yes. a parade in the main plaza. Yes. Okay, I think the coaster is uh, called La Montana. If I pronounce it right, if I don't, let me know in the <laughs> comments. <laughs> I think I did my best. Um, is it alright to go in? Yeah, okay, I'm going. <laughs> Sorry, people, gotta pass through. Q is also very like nice, clean, and little coverage for the sun. But yeah, again, it's very good. realistic. In fact, like the whole coast is fenced in and everything. <clears throat> Inside nice of the station. station. Yeah. It's for the luggage. What he could have done there is, uh, with the Team TK items, he could have uh, put in the bags. People made these in all, they're so amazing for like these little luggage um, stands. And, oh, that's nice. Okay, let's hop in.
okay, that was a really nice coaster. It wasn't too big, it was uh, perfectly integrated with the whole environment and it's really nice done. Oh. Really smooth as well. I'm yeah. wondering if he was using the, um, the 4 meter smoothing technique for that. Uh, yeah, some, some, be some, uh, some bits could have like a little bit more uh, smoothing I guess, but I think indeed because maybe he made it all custom and that he... Sometimes it's hard to do that, but I, I really like this, like this little airtime hill where you go under the bridge and you go back up. It's really nice. Yeah, you can tell that he really paid attention to mold the coaster around the park, and that made for like a really, really nice, firstly coaster layout, but it also explores the park and yes. showcases the park as you're riding it. Yes, I definitely agree with that. Just all these little like going up and these little streets you you can see everywhere the coaster and he he even made a, this little backstage plot for it <gasps> trespassing mm. <laughs> 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 oh you can oh this this road actually oh wow oh this is impressive that's cool It'll be interesting to take a look after we finish, like, the park tour. We'll actually look at the road system and everything and see how far he pushed it. Oh yes, because this is the other entrance, I think, from the park. We came from the parking lot, but this is actually maybe the main entrance. Right. No entry for the staff. Excuse me, sir, you are walking with your child on the road. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> somewhere like further up the um maybe the he did cover it up because where mm. is it oh maybe maybe he did it like where the people are coming from to make his own custom okay. yeah probably yeah but again it's like if I'm imagining myself coming to this park, I'll just see that coaster flying by in the entrance and, you know, would it actually excite me to go into the park? Yes, yes. And I could also see that this park is, could be used for other activities as well, such as marketplaces or like a little fiesta and uh, like music going on here. It's really, uh, yeah. yeah. I like what he did here with the boots. Mm. Giving the little, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, for the sun. Shade, golden, isn't it? Shaders? <laughs> sun shaders? <laughs> Some, yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should know that. <laughs> um, terrible English. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Excited to see how it uh, looks in nighttime. So let's check that out. Ooh, yes. So we are in nighttime at the moment, and it's oh, it's it gives so much warmth out of it. Yeah, the orange tones really play nicely to the theme. Yeah. Feels very warm and inviting indeed. Uh, this is actually where you want to be after like this nice hot day at the beach and then you go back to the mountains at your own small town where also this little team park is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because I think he, he told us like in the description, like uh, Guadales is this little Spanish town who is like getting out of tourists and uh, they didn't have money anymore to like uh, do, this, do the maintain on their uh, city. And what they did to get their tourists back was putting up attractions to oh yeah, put their own small city or town get back on the map. Hmm. It's a really clever backstory as well. Yeah. 
it's nice that people put their own culture into a video game and try to get their own imagination to it. It's really nice. Yeah, for sure. this lighting because it's not too aggressive it's you know it's quite it's well placed you know it's not everything it's just mm -hmm. glowing i have the night time at the moment at 5 45 p.m and that gives like the perfect lighting for it because the the moon is shining and you have like a little bit of a glow from the sun in the back and then the own lighting from what he did um to his to the buildings it just matches perfectly. Yeah, the two complement each other. Yeah, really nice. It's a small park. Uh, maybe you could uh, put a small little ride in the back or maybe a little kitty coaster. Uh, but I think he, he really balanced it well, very well done, and this is really a project where he can be proud of. I've been following him yeah, for, for sure. a little while now, and I've seen that he grows, and that he learns, and that he tries out other things as well, and it's really nice, and uh, Necromania can uh, be very proud on a builder like him. Yeah, definitely. I'm just I'm really impressed with the amount of soul that's behind this park. It's really ambient and really sells the theme yeah. superb superbly. Yes, I totally agree. Um, I think uh, we are going to turn to the nighttime cinematic. We want to thank you, Moto, for making this and submitting uh, for the expeditions. We would like to see everyone back at the next video and give it a thumbs up if you like it and. Uh, you can download this park in the subscription in the video and uh, see you next time. Toca, toca, Donnie. 